Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower today and we are going over a brand new poster portfolio. This is the Clay Man poster portfolio. That's coming up next. Like I was saying before, today we are going over the Clay Man poster portfolio. This is uh, 20 posters all featuring Clay Man's artwork. So uh, I I like Clay Man. He's an artist that I'm only fairly uh, recently became aware of. He did quite a bit of stuff uh, with Tom King and Tom King's uh, Batman run and everything, which was kind of hit or miss for me. But he did a lot of stuff with that. For, on that, he did stuff for um, Heroes in Crisis bunch of covers, bunch of different stuff for DC, and this is a collection of 20 of his uh, better known works. So we are going to go over this, we're going to look at it, each individual thing, do a close up each poster, kind of, you know, go over what I think about them. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and dive into it. Before we do that though, guys, um, if, th if this is your first time watching the channel, uh, or maybe you're watching again but you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps other people find content, this content, and it helps my channel grow. And, you know, I just, I really appreciate uh, all your support. But, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get a close-up look at this poster. Alright, so it is time to give a close-up look at this poster portfolio book. Uh, like I was saying, it is, it's all Clay Man's artwork. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it, look at each print, um, and I'm going to kind of guess, you know, talk about how I feel about each one, all right? So anyway, well, uh, here is the cover, obviously. It's got that uh, image from Heroes in Crisis, a bunch of different heroes, Clay Man, poster portfolio. And then front page right there, Clay Man poster portfolio, showcasing the artwork of Clay Man. All right, and then we got, got the first print right here. This is, of course, the Trinity. Really nice piece. I'm pretty sure this is from a cover for one of, for the Trinity book. So really nice piece here. Um, like the three of them there, Wonder Woman front and center. Everybody staring staring us down. Really really nice. I I really like this. Then we have this really great Superman one. Superman flying through the smoke right here, coming towards us. Really nice detailed print there as well. I really like that one. And then we have another nice one. This is Catwoman and Batman together. I really like that one too. That's a really nice print. Uh, a lot of great detail, shading and everything. I really like it. I saw another version of this that was uh, where they were smaller and it had like... Um, it had like the Joker overlooking them, like his face, like over, just kind of like overwhelming them. But this, so I saw a different version of this, but I don't know that one, what that one was from, but this one is really cool as well. And works, and works better, I think, than the one with the Joker. But very cool there. And then we have that, then we have that cover from Heroes in Crisis, which I really didn't care for Heroes in Crisis, but this is, this is a really great cover. It's got... You know, the Trinity front and center, Booster Gold, Harley Quinn, a bunch of other heroes behind them, all looking on, you know, at something that's terrible that's happened. No spoilers if you haven't read, you know, Heroes in Crisis, but really nice cover there. Really like the detail, everybody. You know, I just, I think this is a really great cover. like this one a lot. All right, so this is a, oh, this is a really cool one. I like this one a lot. It's got Superman fighting Doomsday with Lois Lane and uh, John Kent uh, looking on as him as he's protecting his family as 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 Doomsday is crashing into probably his house. Just awesome. There's so much detail and everything, and you just see and just uh, everybody's expressions, emotions, and everything. I think this is really cool. Really, really great print here. Okay, this is. This is definitely one that I'm going to hang up. I like this Poison Ivy one a lot. Really just gets to the essence of the character with her there seducing the police officers. 
looking right at you. That's a nice print. I really, really like that one as well. So far, these have all been, you know, hits for me. I've really been liking everyone that's been shown. All right, moving on. Got, got a Justice League one here. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, and The Flash. Uh, Wonder Woman's got a little bit of a Gal Gadot vibe to her face. A little bit. Another really nice piece here. Really like this print as well. I would have, I, I think I would have liked just preferably if the Flash was kind of looking, you know, more towards uh, the viewer as well. Like kind of everyone else says, you can kind of see everybody else and Flash is kind of running away. So it would be cool if Flash was a little bit more like coming forward, but still really, really nice print and everything. You know, I like this one. All right, another Batman and Catwoman one, really cool here. I think this is from, I think this is a cover to Batman and Catwoman, the comic book. Pretty sure this is a cover to that. Nice print as well. I like how they switch from the other print too, where the other one was Batman in front and Catwoman behind, and this one is Catwoman in front and Batman behind. But really nice. This is one I'll probably have to pick up, or have to print, frame. I already got the print. I got to frame it. Woo boy. Another one here. Harley Quinn. This is a pretty nice one. Uh, it does feel like there's kind of a lot going on. I don't understand, like, is this the, what is this? Is this a pool cue or is this the handle to her mallet? Because there's the head of the mallet right here. So is this the handle and why is it, why is it so skinny and why is it curved? So that's, you know, I don't know about that. That's weird. So it looks like this is a curved pool cue, but you got, but you got the hyenas here, you know, looking down. Everybody's looking down. I love his use of focal points, create a focal point for these things. Like, really cool. I would like those a lot. Then we have, so we have all the different members of the Superman family and stuff. Not all of them, but fighting each other. Superman front and center, Supergirl, Steel, Cyborg Superman, Superman of China, and then a giant hand up there. Oh, and we also have the Eradicator. Just saw the Eradicator. So that's very cool. Bunch of different versions of uh, Superman. So that's cool. I don't know. Is this? I don't know if this is for just like a, a homage to. Uh, Reign of the Superman or what, but this is a nice little print. Feels like there should be more to it because you kind of got other stuff happening. So might have been just might have just been a crop part of a of a bigger uh, piece of art, but still really cool. Then we have this one. This is pretty creepy. Uh, got Batman and Catwoman um, exchanging their wedding vows. Joker's the priest. And clearly he has killed them. So creepy, creepy one there, but really cool. A lot of nice detail and everything. Their faces are so grotesque, and it's just really nicely done. Looks cool. This would be, you know, this of course, it would be the Joker's version of Happily Ever After. So cool there. Then we have this one. This looks like a cover that was from, that he did for probably Doom Patrol. Or the young animal imprint, but I like this one. I like this use of the red in the background, and then it kind of just makes everything else pop. I, that's a really nice one as well. And then we have this looks like this looks like another cover for the Trinity comic book because you have the Trinity front and center here coming through some sort of like portal, and then you have. Three of the supernatural characters or magic-based characters, Zatanna, Constantine, and Dead Man, around it. So really nice. And then this purple, this purple background and everything just really makes everything pop. So really nice. I like I like these prints so far. I like how you're getting like a bunch of like really different. I was worried going into it that it was all gonna be all Batman. As much as I like Batman, I thought I was worried it's gonna be all Batman prints, but you're getting really a lot of different stuff. D different character stuff. I mean Batman's in most of them. But other characters are, are front and center as well. So really cool with that. 
And then we have this awesome Batman and Superman piece. I, okay, this is one. I have to get a frame for this one. That one is definitely going up. This, I really, really like this, how they're coming right at you. I love the way he draws, you know, these characters. They look so, they look big and powerful. I, this is such a good piece. And then, all right, so we have another really nice one here. This Lois Lane piece with all, like, the supporting Daily Planet characters behind her. I like how she's front and center here, opening the door to the Daily Planet. We got Perry White, Jimmy Olsen, Clark Kent, with the Superman streak going behind. That's a nice one, too. I really like this. I really like the Lois Lane love here. Not enough, not enough Lois Lane love, but I like that they did a that this print was in the book as well, showcasing Lois Lane. I really, really like that. And I like the whole, like, use of purple with her lips and her eyes. They got a little purple tint to them. I like that. That's cool. And then we have... Okay, so this... Oh, this is a really nice one as well. This is like an homage to uh, Batman Year One by Frank Miller with his parents there, but instead of young Bruce Wayne... They have Batman with uh, Superman and Wonder Woman uh, supporting him with uh, with his dead parents. So probably another one from from the Trinity comic book. But that's that's a really cool and it's just like a powerful image. You really just yeah, that's a good one. Really, really nice. Got this other. We have then we have another cat. Catwoman and Batman book. Obviously, here they are in their um, civilian identities. Selena Kyle, Bruce Wayne, showing their marriage, and then as you know, as their other, and then, and then as Batman and Catwoman with her wearing like a version of her wedding dress. I don't know what this is from, but I kind of like this whole uh, this whole thing that they got going on here. Very, very interesting. I really like this. Yeah, that's a cool piece. Not one that I'm probably going to frame, but it, it'll look good. It looks good. I like the juxtaposition of it. Really cool. And then moving on. So we have, okay, so this is a really nice Batgirl one. Really, really nice Batgirl print here. Got that almost, almost again, almost purple. It's supposed to be black, but almost got like a purple hue to it. It really makes it, like, gives a little bit of a pop, and that yellow is really bright. It pops as well, and there's kind of a softer colors around her to really make, bring her out and really make her pop against the background, and all these bats and everything. Yeah, that's a really, that's a nice one as well. Would have, you know, would have been kind of cool if she was more, like, facing, so you could see her face, but still, I like kind of this oh, behind shot, very nice as well. And then, this is a really nice, okay, yeah, that's a really nice one. I like this whole, with the Superman, and then the other black and white is Clark Kent. Really cool, almost looks like a, kind of like a, like a, like a DNA helix or something, or like a kaleidoscope with all these Superman logos and everything in the back, so, you know, very cool. And then you got Metropolis skyline down the bottom. Really, really cool with there. I like the way they did this. The kind of the breaking up of the two different aspects of Superman with his Clark Kent side and the Superman side and then all the little Superman logos uh, all around. Really, really cool there. And then, oh, and then I just noticed in the middle saying DP, Daily Planet. So it's showing both sides of him again. And then we have... This, oh, wow. I'm not even a huge Superman fan, and I really like that one. That was, was Doomsday coming up behind him, and Superman holding, you know, either the unconscious or, or lifeless body of Clark Kent. Really, really cool. I don't know what this is from, but just, it just you just see it. All, this, all these prints of his, you just see them, and they just tell a story. They're just so powerful. He's so good. There's so much detail and everything. Again, another one I really like. And then that is it. Some information about him and everything. But that's it. Alright, so... What do I, this, this has been... I think this is actually one of the... 
best books that they've done so far. They've been these have all been hits. I've been, I've liked Prince in every poster portfolio that they've released that I've picked up. There's always ones that just really like draw you, but this one I think every one is killer. There's there's so much focus on a lot of different characters and stuff. I really like it. There is one he does a cover um, of Wally Watt, of Wally West that he had for probably Heroes in Crisis where there's like a lightning bolt going down the middle of his head that I think is awesome. I would have loved if they would include that in this book, but the ones that we get are really, really good. Just, this is just, DC, I really like that they do these and they put out these poster portfolio books. And I, I know other companies do these as well, as well, but I think what DC does with these is just really, really cool. I like what they're doing. Um, I'm obviously going to keep picking these up. You know, the problem is, you don't have enough wall space to display all these, all these prints. But, they do make nice, like, just like coffee table books or, cons or you know, conversation books. I have people that come over and see these and just, like, flip through them. And, like, and just, like, or just look at them. So, they are, like, really nice, just, like, conversation books. So, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time that I log in from Monitor Duty up here in the Watchtower.